I'd like to welcome everyone here today to help us celebrate such a momentous day for not only Matt and Erica, but both of our entire families. I always wondered how I would be on this day. What would I feel like? My emotions? How would I act? Well, I can tell you that it's one of the most proudest days of my life. Or you build a family to run some shit for the Boss Baby Corporation. <laughs> come together to celebrate the sacrament of holy matrimony between Erica and Matthew. This is a very joyous event in their lives and in the lives of their family and friends as we recognize this commitment of love that they are making. It's a wolf! <laughs> it's a wolf of the dog! Ah! Nikki, I have bad news. What's up? You're the best dressed one at the wedding. My sister met some guy named Matt. All I knew is he was a doctor. And I figured, well, that'll be short-lived. They went out on a date or two, and my sister in her true form, as my dad said, she wasn't sure if she liked him like that. I said, get over it. I like him, he's a doctor. <laughs> Our journey here has been nothing short of amazing. I remember the first day I met you at the Sinky Computers, and that was something special about you. Then on December 5th, after a couple of winter lagers, I knew our fate was sealed. I found someone who was beautiful, on the outside and even more so on the inside. Because I've got a damn clip on, don't I? Yeah! <laughs> Matthew, I cannot believe this day is finally here. It seems like yesterday uh, we were talking about our timeline in the sicky break room and both wondering where life is going to take us. Well, I got to say I'm so happy it brought us to today. I simply cannot imagine my life any other way. Beautiful, Erica. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I think that's good back there. Erica has always been my little princess. From the time she was born. She was three months old, as most of you know, when I had my accident. And in some strange way, she was always my spirit, my support, my drive. Even from that very young age, she kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. I don't know why, but that's just the way it was. Erica, along with her brothers Frankie and Nikki, were always very close. Almost like each other's best friend. And for that, a father could not be prouder. Their relationship obviously took off at some point. Matt tried hard, he tried so hard, <laughs> to fit in with the oftentimes loud, sometimes argumentative, pretty consistently over the top, Mormon clan. Since December 5th, I've been head over heels for you and I've been waiting for this day to come. Today, I feel like the luckiest kid waiting for Santa Claus to come the night before Christmas. <laughs> oh, this is perfect! I can't even hold in my excitement to be marrying the woman of my dreams. Oh, wow. I cannot wait to start our married life together because I know I will forever and always have my best friend at my side. I love you more than words can say, and I can't wait to meet you at the altar today to start this next chapter in our life. With much everlasting love, your soon-to-be husband. He is truly like a son to me. 
Don't disappoint me, Matt. It won't be good. Uh, it's, it's an honor to see you start this next phase of your life with this wonderful, beautiful, patient woman, Erica. I'm very happy to have met you, and I remember the first few months that you guys were dating, uh, Matthew, uh, when I talked to him on the phone, he would tell me, bro, I think she's the one. Be true and honest to each other, always. Always, always. Keep no secrets. Share both of your joys and your burdens. Love each other much, and most importantly, laugh much. Be each other's best friend. It doesn't work any other way. Always speak well of each other, even in private. When things aren't going well, learn to forgive as often as necessary. Married life is an adventure, and today you both embark on that great adventure together. Grasp it, enjoy it, and savor it. We pray that your marriage may reach the heights of Paul's understanding and love of marriage. That your love for each other may rejoice in the truth of God through honesty and self-giving. We pray that your love for each other will continue to be an experience of love that God has for us. As you journey in your marriage, the best place to renew your covenant and your love between each other will be before Christ. For as you renew the covenant of faith that you have in Him, He will continue to teach the true meaning of love and will help you in your journey as husband and wife. May God bless you both today on this your wedding day and for the many years together that will come. Hi, Matthew. Take you, Erica. Take you, Erica. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. To honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Erica. I, Erica. Take you, Matthew. Take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. Sickness and health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. To honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The beauty of today is the joyful day that it's been, right? We have few of these days in our lives that are so joyful. And today was truly joyful, right? Family, friends all of the people, all of the good feelings in this room right now, right? We all lead busy lives, we don't get together that frequently. Occasionally we have events like today. And it's because of Erica and Matthew. No matter how hard I thought about how to describe Matthew, there's a quote that kept coming to my mind and it's a man for others. It's a quote that um, when we grew up in, uh, in high school, it's basically one of the models of our school, being a man for others. And to be honest with you, out of everybody that I know, this man sitting next to you has been every bit of that quote. He's always been a man for others. In so much as love grows you, so beauty grows. For love is the beauty of the soul. I think I can safely speak on behalf of everyone in this room, Erica and Matthew. May love grow you for the rest of your days. May your life together be filled with laughter, joy, and happiness. 
at Molto Sanos. Cheers. So life's not easy, and you're going to meet a lot of challenges. But from now on, you don't have to face them alone, because you have each other. So look at each other for advice. Think of each other always. Listen to each other, and love one another more than you love yourselves. Remember, you're not two anymore. You are one. And as long as you're full of love, you will need nothing else. Dr. and Mrs. Matthew Hagen.